Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. Actually, I'm very pleased to um, receive the request. My name is uh, Mike Newman. I, I'm from Manchester University, the Division of Accounting and Finance, where I'm a professor of information systems. And so one of my programs of research, my main one, is this process of information systems development. Uh, this emphasizes the idea of longitudinal research. So uh, studying a systems development project, rather than dozens of them, just studying one of them or two of them uh, over a period of time, which could be several years. I mean, one of my uh, original case studies in Canada where I started my PhD, um, it spanned over 12 years where they had many attempts at, at uh, trying to develop this specific information system and failed. And they kept failing. If you've got organizations with prior history of failure and they don't do anything different for the current project, then they're likely to reproduce that failure. And, you know, amazingly, nobody else was really looking at this. And, and studying in this in this fashion. So we have these four um, influences. You've got the history, the process, the context, and the outcome. So you get when you're doing the kind of research I do, you're interviewing people, and the interviews produce transcripts. So you're getting them to tell the story of their involvement in the project, <clears throat> and you're trying to get them to. Uh, elaborate on these major events that took place during the project. So they can either talk about what's going on now or they can look back in, in the history of what has taken place over a number of years. And so you, you get some element of, of current disclosure and some element of historical disclosure. And so you have to then interview many other people in order to try and triangulate on these major events. So now we're taking that and, and incorporating uh, interviewing rather than face to face, but now mediated with technology. So our latest venture is to look at how social media affects um, the interview process. So we're, we're, we're working on that right now. So for example, uh, normally with face to face, like when I'm looking at you, I, I can see your facial expressions, you're nodding, you're, you're uh, trying to encourage me to continue talking and so on. This is quite normal and this is what I would do if I was interviewing somebody. Um, now that disappears when you're doing telephone interview, which is a, a big feature now of a lot of research, is that they can't afford to, to engage in face-to-face -face interviewing, so they, they uh, use technology in order to, to do that. But you lose the cues, you lose those vital Cues. Now, in, in uh, using Skype, for example, then you gain some of that back again. You've got more of a... There's, there's technology in the way. And by the way, Skype is not always 100% reliable. It, it can... Uh, video can go down, which has happened to me, and uh, also audio interruptions can, uh, can occur as well. So those can be rather distracting things, but it, it, it's better. Uh, and there are other technologies that people are beginning to, to use, like blogs and so on. Uh, so that's my third third theme would be the um, interview process itself. Um, now, in terms of collaboration, I, I think uh, networking, uh, whether you do it with technology, you often have to uh, use technology to collaborate. Um, but the initial um, collaboration would probably be done face to face with academics. What I would hope for in working with the people from Turku is this interaction, being able to interact. Set it up first of all, face to face, and then once you've met the PhDs, once you've met the academics, then you can engage more fruitfully in uh, technology mediated communication. And, and so I think that's, uh, that's, that's quite an important thing. And then in the end, you start writing together, you start sending manuscripts to each other and so on. Of course, technology is very helpful in that, in that you can get almost instant communication in that sense. When I first started, the internet was uh, just being used, but um, many things were sent through the post. So you, you could often wait weeks before you get an answer. Now you expect an answer within a few, a few hours, let alone uh, weeks. 
Um, so that's, uh, that's, that's quite important. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for a very fruitful collaboration as I had with many of my other contacts.